Hey everybody, this is me, Lady Infamous 415. I'm here back with the big bad wolf doing shit like this stream. Oh, wait a minute. Let me make sure my voice is on point. <sighs> I'm going to do an update video for you guys on Wednesday. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. I'll have a video up by Wednesday night, 420. So, um, but today we're going to finish. We're going to start on episode two of The Wolf Among Us. Let me just make sure I'm cool. Well, I think I'm cool. It takes a couple of seconds before it actually says it. I'm on episode two. There's my girl right there. That's my girl. Hmm. Mr. Toad. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. I forgot they did this. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Mother Come with me. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill more than one. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not looking here. for the woods. Holly, you're out of paper towels and the... they're gonna string me up, baby. That it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man. This fucking laptop. Come sniffing really? around this place. The rich fucks in the woods need to shake down. Yeah, right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Okay. Back, yeah, I am back to Longville. Welcome, DC. Making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll snitch. Nice. Look. I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Not for me. Not for me. That's very helpful. Thank you.
Uh oh. You missed a spot. Yeah, you just smeared it across your face. Yeah. Got a tissue or something? Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah, I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? Yeah. Please. Please. Oh, man. I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. We have to go now. What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. <sighs> That's some good see you don't this is he was at the regular precinct, so you can't you can't talk about fable shit to them cuz they don't know about that fable life. Hey, Shay. found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. He's working for somebody. Whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked yep. at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. Yeah, he, 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 Crane love that bitch. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies, and now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Yeah, it's hard. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was, I guess, fine, I suppose. Just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Big B. Yeah. What? She wanted to deed. I don't know what else to say, Big B. We have to have to put an end to this. Yeah. It's been two murders. <laughs> Ain't nobody days. ready for that fable. We don't life. unearth our culprit, and soon there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B, for Miss White. I got it. Damn, he all mad. He, that's the second car he fucked up. Fucked two cars up already. A 
That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you. In theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Ooh, big get the big. business. <laughs> oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Shh, do you think this is a joke? Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girls got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If oh, you shit. Know you, did that, <laughs> you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. Wait a minute. Do said she's important to me. He just said it said loved her. I don't know who did it. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother? Where was uh -huh. he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Damn, we got a water cash. You know, I really like spending time with you, Bigby. You're so pleasant. Let's be friends. I was kidding. I, I don't want to be your friend. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's oh, wow. it to you? Come on, DC, tell me. I get that back. I'm keeping the money. Tax on uncooperative troublemakers. You taking out a loan? You might not like the interest on that. You'll need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. I don't give a fuck. So where's your brother? <laughs> Look, mate, I'd like to help. I, I, would, took, I, I took the money. I took is. the money. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You were looking for Faith? Look, I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. Since you never answered my first question, I'm what bad. What did you want from me? <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. Okay. Anyone can see this isn't working. It's time to try it. You just carry this around. Always handy that way. Uh, 
I couldn't hurt, I guess. Look, BB, this isn't going to work. Don't you want to find out what happened to those girls? To Snow White? <sighs> Let me handle this. Let me handle it. You can get it later. <laughs> sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Fighting <coughs> many things, but that ain't one of them. <coughs> what did she steal? I don't know. Just some dumb thing my boss was after. Your boss. There we go. So let's talk about your boss then. Can't talk about get that. Me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. You said that last time. You said that last time. You said that you couldn't answer my question last time. I know you enjoy my time. company, <laughs> but I'd like to be off. I'm saving that. That's rude as shit. Is, I'm not gonna blow that smoke in his. Point of this? Either I, I don't want to burn him. I'm gonna have to blow the smoke in your face. Real nice. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what Beauty says about you. At least you're not a total bastard, anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way Beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah, we're real close. I thought this was supposed to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard! And not getting any answers from him this way. But so I put the cigar in my mouth One first. And you're going to let I'm this ignorant put it in his shit mouth. walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. At least I didn't hit what him. The fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Ooh. Stop this right now. You enjoying yourself. Immensely. Hot twist. We don't skip. Oh, I gotta go through that. <sighs> All right. I was not trying to. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to answer these questions like I would answer these questions if I was wolf. So yes, I'm going to take your money. I'm going to also do a drink and I'm going to the cigar up in your face. It's still slow. Well, I thought you did. Oh, Smokes and Mirrors, Episode 2. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? I 
hope it was worth your time. Where the hell have you been all night, Snow? I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found the body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'm glad you're... Uh, not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. I don't think it's about you. There's something else going on here. Maybe. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? It's too dangerous out there. Too dangerous? Bigby, I... I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore! I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Ooh. You see that shit? That's why that nigga's in Lollyville. I'm sorry. See, I try to pour my heart out to this bitch. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Fuck that. Words I've been hurt. Doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too, you know. I can handle the kid. Okay. Let's see if I can really... We'll see if we can do the kid. Y'all should not get his. Man, Snow said, Snow said, I'm not hers. She ain't mine. She ain't mine. She said it. TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. I got a big old wad of cash. And acids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Perfume bottle? Can't look at the perfume bottle? Snow's perfume. Ain't nothing else up in here. We don't look at that. We're gonna go check out the body first. So, check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Come on.
Alright. Yep, that's a body. Wow. I didn't realize... I've never seen her face before now. It's just a body, Snow. If you can't do this... No, I'll be fine. I want to be here. The Isn't glamour is so up? effective, it's... invasive. But... just do what you need to do. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. Anything? Nothing. Can you close her mouth? <laughs> Why? Thanks. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oops, wait. Oh, we gotta examine all this shit. Okay, let's go to the other side. Nah. I mean, he ain't down like that. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. Looks just like Faith's did. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to hmm. tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. She got your perfume right. How would she know? How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this nose. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. That's it? Do you see that? Could be a bruise. That's it? Alright, let's go to the other side. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? It looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Anyway, it means it's not a perfect match to your leg, unless... Don't be ridiculous. Maybe she was trying to compensate with that perfume. Wait, if the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might be a cheap one. Yep. Just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing. That's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. Mm -hmm. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. All right. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Yeah, I, I ain't gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, but you right, BC. I didn't say shit. Damn it. Here. It's not you, Snow. It's just a body. I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. What Damn. did you find out? I did all the shit. The glamour is defective. Oh. 
defective. We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. What's in her pockets? What is that? She had the perfume with her. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone. Yeah, you gave right. Her DC. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? I think I can figure it out. Something to do with these rings here. Oh, shit. I think I got it. Is that it? Wait. I think I got it. I think that's it. So how? Wait. Is that not right? There we go. A deer. What does that mean? Oh. Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Mm. Let's check out this lock of hair. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Who did this, Bigby? She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. You did? Well, that was good. Holy shit. Well, it was it free? Helps <laughs> glamour. Kind of. Who is she? Tell me if Ari is free. That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the homelands. Maybe Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. Ah, oh, 20 bucks, huh? I got 20 bucks. Do you want to talk to I TJ first? That. No, I don't want to wait on this. It wouldn't be fair to Holly. You're right. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not going to stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Look at that big ass smile on her face. I hope Snow give him the, give him, give him some shit. Big ass smile, cause I told her I would, let's go.
This whole thing is complete bullshit and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't yes, know. Yes, he did. Are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Said it looked like Snow White. What the hell, Crane? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar opening for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps oh, all the really? muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear. That cute little thing. It's hard. Pa no pause, pause. Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar, here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right, just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. What the hell? Sorry. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said <laughs> you tortured him. Which, I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Big B, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button. Now. What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Both of them. Listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? On my sister? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly woman we found in the river who was it you know who it was yep i'm sorry girl i was gentle Boy, with you I sure walked into that one if you if you did one more fucking thing just one more thing god fucking damn it of course, the dear princess, Snow fucking White, is all safe and sound. Ooh, Where were that was you a when we were right there. this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been. <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. I like her tattoo on her, ch on her chest, that purple butterfly. Hmm. <sighs> That's a nice tattoo. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. Oh. Holly harsh. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. That was decent of you. Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? 
Are you sure? I'm sorry, that snow smile is kind of pretty. In the big blue eyes. I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh, God. I'm sorry. That was probably about... Mm -hmm. She was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. I will look into that. Tell for I'll check into it. Is she? Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's it's a kind of it's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or I don't know. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and. We did what we had to do with the body. We gotta give it to her. That club. I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really. Thanks. It just made everything easier. Come on, you know you want to give it to him. She bullshitting. All right, I am gonna stop it here. Um, gotta get ready for work tomorrow, but um. I will do a stream on Wednesday, Wednesday night. I don't know what I'll be playing, but I'll be streaming. Um, you guys make sure you show me a little bit of love. Yeah, he already gave her the D already. All right. Um, thanks for everybody who's stopping by on the stream. Make sure you hit that follow button. I'll put this up on YouTube. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe. You retweet. Do what you got to do to spread the word. This is me, Lady Infamous 415, and you guys have a good night. Peace.